Hey, how's everybody doing today? I just wanted to uh, spend another day here going through uh, more of my plan, my manifesto, my change of the industry as far as game centers are concerned. Uh, and we want to talk and dive into a little more deeply uh, what I talked about yesterday was Company X. Company X is the central focal point of the entire system so that everything that uh, happens around this is obviously focused on this Company X right in the middle. So as we talk about Company X, what I want to do is I want to break down the makeup of that. Uh, obviously for my own selfish reasons, I'm going to leave company names out of this for now. Uh, obviously it'll become, when it becomes relevant, we'll reveal some of these partners, but these are the people that are already on board and trying to work with some of this stuff. So as part of this project for Company X, there's a company up here. Uh, this is a game center chain. Um, you know, obviously without using any names, it's probably pretty obvious what game center chain I would be working with uh, to make all this stuff happen. So that is a big key part of it. Uh, one of the things that I want to talk about with it is also the fact that uh, this is not just necessarily one game center that's got to be involved with this. We've got to get multiple game centers involved with this. And uh, one of the things that really, really, really pisses me off in the whole grand scheme of things is that when I hear a lot of these game centers start giving feedback about how are we going to do this, how is this possible, I mean, uh, seriously, get your heads out of your butts. Let's start working together. Let's start making some of this stuff happen. It's not going to be about any of us individuals. We're not going to be able to do this unless a lot of people jump on board and get involved. I'm willing to take risks. There's a lot of people involved in this that are taking risks. A lot of us are willing to build this system and put it in your hands as game centers to use. I don't really want to have to deal with, you know, stroking everybody's ego and making sure everybody gets exactly what they want at their particular center. Trust me, I have nothing but the best, the best intentions for the game centers in this point. There is, there is no reason I'm doing this for any other reason besides eBash specifically and game centers in a whole. So just all of the details, everybody just needs to work with me on these things and stop thinking about the negative things of, uh, what the margins are, how are we going to compete with everybody else. All those things will fall into place and everyone should start to understand how this is going to work. And we're really limiting everybody's risk. So we're not asking anybody to jump in and put $100,000 in per store and retail. Uh, I know game centers are going to do that and those game centers are going to make a lot of money. Uh, those that can't afford to do that can do it in a smaller aspect or even work virtually through some uh, online stores and things. Anyway, enough about that. Second part of this uh, what we're going to do over here is a, uh, is an industry partner. So this is an industry partner here. This is key for us. Uh, you know, it'll be obvious to everybody who that is. Obviously, I think, but but uh, in the grand scheme of things, this is going to be the forefront of this whole system working. It's going to be independent companies. These companies aren't joining to form one big company or anything. These are companies working together. So that's another aspect of it. Um, another one down here, these two are kind of similar, but they're really different under the hood. Um, I'm just going to call this uh, software, um, software Company A. Software Company A is going to be able to provide a lot of intricate details, support systems. Uh, let's talk about where, where, where Smart Launch Cyber Cafe Pro are all falling short. This company is going to step in and they're going to pick up that, that middle ground there. Uh, where everything else seems to be left by the wayside, support and integration and all sorts of sweet stuff. And then this over here is another software company. So I'm going to call this one uh, Software B. These guys are more, these guys are not in our industry right now. These guys are ERP type designers. These are the guys we're bringing in to help us make this thing happen from a retail, from a distribution, from a support for manufacturers, from a legitimacy standpoint. These guys are in the industry. These guys are game center type guys. These guys have already started doing some of these things. So this is uh, the premise of this whole concept is, is that you know, each of these people, as we break down each of these barriers between the companies and everybody starts working together, we're going to basically have this unified platform for, for Company X. This will be an individual company right in the middle. This won't be uh, all these guys partnering together. There will actually be a physical uh, LLC of some kind right here. Uh, and the focus of that LLC is going to be uh, integration. I mean, that's the key. It's going to be pulling all of this stuff together so that 
Uh, all of us out here as game centers are going to be running inventory. We're going to have inventory in our stores. One of the big red flags everybody's throwing up is, you know, why? what am I going to do with all this stuff I can't sell? How am I going to get games at midnight? How am I going to get all these used games? How can I take in used games and sell them? The reason why this will work is the core system underneath all this is an integrated database system, MySQL probably, with Smart Launch Cyber Cafe Pro, all of the systems that are already sitting in our game centers communicating out here with this data and providing real-time inventory management for all the game centers. We're talking about a huge, once again, these are big-time companies here, huge industry, you know, industrial size software that's going to be running this system for all these game centers out there that we wouldn't all be able to do on our own. The reason why all these people are interested in doing this is because we're talking about us as a group. So GameStop, Best Buy, Walmart, all of those places that now sell games and get all these deals, if we can put this system in place from a software perspective and we can track all the inventory, we can make sure inventory levels are maintained at a profitable rate for the game centers by using this system so that game center A might be selling NHL 09, game center B might not sell any NHL 09 so we can ship some of those products up to that game center. Nobody's sitting on long-term product. We work on um, product management, we work on inventory flow, all of that stuff comes from these guys down here. These guys are, are coming in to help with the tournament side, integration of the statistics, integration of a lot of other stuff. So all of these people will work together to provide a final solution for us game centers so that we can add the retail component, the competitive component that rewards players for participation and results so that they can spend that money back into the system and then the grand scheme of things, money is going to flow into here from the, from the manufacturers, from the publishers because we will be able to prove no longer will they go to GameStop and present them with a check for $30,000 a store to run a Madden launch tournament. Those days are going to go away because there's no question that this system will work better. It will be legitimate. Game centers know how to run events. They have facilities to run events. GameStops, Walmarts, they do not. We're ready to do this. The only barrier right now is setting this system up and we have to get all these people on board. So if you're not on board this yet, you need to either get on the train or get out of the way because this is where it's going to be right here.